Traffic policing is a quality of service mechanism used to monitor and enforce traffic rates by measuring the amount of data entering a network and taking immediate action if it exceeds a defined threshold. Unlike traffic shaping, which buffers and smooths out traffic, policing is more rigid. It either drops the excess traffic or marks it for potential dropping downstream, depending on how the policy is configured. This makes traffic policing a more aggressive method of controlling bandwidth usage. The main purpose of traffic policing is to ensure that no single user or application consumes more than its allocated share of network resources. It is often used by internet service providers to enforce SLAs or within enterprise networks to prevent misbehaving or non-compliant devices from affecting the performance of the entire network. Policing uses parameters like the Committed Information Rate, or CIR, and the burst size to determine whether incoming traffic is within acceptable limits. When traffic exceeds the allowed rate, a policer can take one of several actions. It can drop the packets outright, mark them with a lower priority, such as by changing the Differentiated Services Code Point, or DSCP, or redirect them to a different class of service. This helps maintain fairness across the network and protects high-priority traffic from being degraded by excessive or malicious usage. While effective, policing does not smooth traffic over time like shaping does, and excessive use can lead to increased packet loss and jitter, particularly problematic for real-time applications.